नमस्कार दोस्तों ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एक बहुत ही खूबसूरत न्यूज है आपको हमेशा जो हमारे लेक्चर्स में पॉडकास्ट लेक्चर्स लाइव लेक्चर्स रैपिड फायर लेक्चर्स और थ्री एम सेशन के साथ एक दरकार रहती थी कि सर बोर्ड पे हमें कुछ वीडियो क्लासेस प्रोवाइड कर दें खास करके ऐसे टफ टॉपिक जो बिना बोर्ड समझ नहीं आते जी हाँ दोस्तों आपके लिए एक्सक्लूसिवली अब से वीडियो क्लासेस भी अवेलेबल करवा दी जाएंगी हर किसी को वीडियो क्लासेस के थ्रू बहुत सारे जो टफ टॉपिक्स हैं लिटरी थ्योरी पोस्ट ह्यूमनिज्म कल्चर स्टडीज लिंग्विस्टिक इंग्लिश इन इंडिया या ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री या वर्ल्ड लिटरेचर के वो टॉपिक जो शायद बिना बोर्ड नहीं किए जा सकते अब आपको मिलेंगे वीडियो लेक्चर्स भी और जानते हैं दोस्तों इसका प्राइस क्या है कोई प्राइस नहीं है जो आपकी ऑनलाइन फीस थी वो वही रहेगी कोई बढ़ोतरी नहीं की गई है लेकिन अब हमारी तरफ से आपको वीडियो क्लासेस भी दी जाएंगी जुड़िए और जून में जे करिए हेलो गाइस व्हेन यू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स डू यू नो दैट फ्रॉम वेयर यू शुड एग्जैक्टली स्टार्ट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चन दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फेस इज दैट फ्रॉम वेयर टू स्टार्ट दियर प्रिपरेशन फॉर नेट इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सी यू इंग्लिश लिटरेचर और ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर स्टडीज so it's quite simple that you have to start with british history but when you buy the books of british history you have edward elbert legis kazamia compton rickett william j long david deches or andrew sanders do you know that you have to start at with the very first is called anglo sections yes anglo section is one of the most important topic which is normally getting ignored by most of the aspirants most of the students they think that anglo section is not that much important for the competitive exams and moreover even if they read it they read it for the sake of reading not for the sake of taking notes writing down important facts and preparing it for competitive purposes right now in this video lecture which is now prescribed for online classes i'm going to answer certain questions related to anglo section age there are some questions which actually confuse most of the students one of the first question is that what exactly is the timing of anglo section age 450 sometimes you find 650 sometimes you see that 1066 and then in a normal way you will find 450 to 1340 650 to 1340 and 1066 to 1340 if you have some indian textbooks you will simply find 450 to 1340 if you have some better textbooks you will find 650 to 1340 but what if this question comes in your exam do you know what is the exact timing of anglo sections or do you know what are the reasons behind this so don't worry i'll make it easy for you first thing when we say 450 to 1340 actually 450 is the timing when sections came to the area called ingla land sections they came to the area called ingla land now that ingla land area was highly fertile a good place to live surrounded by mountains having rivers and a proper productive ground now when all these people they started getting settled as you all know that in cultural studies we have taught about this thing when two cultures clash two cultures are having regular issues regular clashes gradually they learn to stay together so what happens sections who came from sectioni sectioni from germany speaking old germanic latin they came to the area called ingla land where there were people speaking the first ingla language not the original form of english they started living together and here actually the first anglo section empire gets formed now anglo sections they were not alone there were so many tribes around they were having rover tribe scandinavians then vikings there is a series on netflix on vikings jutes then danes martians and a lot more now who are these people they are the tribes of that area living in europe in ancient time just like in india india was divided in a lot of small territories lot of territories dealing with southern people northerns then afghans came the aryans came same thing happened here the sections came here started living with inglas people but then they had to 
face regular war with these guys of uh, different different people these kind of tribals they were having regular fight and then this takes approx 250 years a point to be noted that having these kind of regular wars it is the timing of 650 that finally seven big tribes left and rest of the all small tribes got merged means what happens when there is a shark a shark starts eating all the small fishes but then there is another shark another whale so they gradually learn to stay together they gradually learn to survive together and the same thing happened here what happened here the seven major tribes all these the strongest one martians rovers and all they started living together and they also got some peace so that they will not have fights but these seven tribes were under the dominion called anglo sections so primarily if you say 650 this is the time when the anglo section empire was actually a strong empire and let's go for the next date now as they were having a great life they were living a very good life in 650 650 they got a very good uh, standardized tribe. It went till 1066 and then one issue appeared. What happened in 1066? The Anglo-Saxon king, Edward, had a friendship with William, William the Conqueror. And William was actually from Normans, Normandy. The Norman king, William was a Norman king. Normans came from Normandy, a French speaking territory. They had a friendship where Edward promised William that after my death, you will be the king. You will be dealing with Anglo-Saxons. You will take my empire. They were best friends. They were dealing with this kind of thing. But when actually Edward the confessor died, one of his relative, Harald Harada, please write down the name, Harald Harada, he became the king. But then one more relative, Harold Godwinson, Please remember there are two Herald and Herald. So spelling can help you. This is Herald. This is Herald. Herald Godwinson didn't like this and killed Herald Harada. So Herald Harada got killed and Godwinson became the king. But this was the issue that William didn't like. William didn't like this thing and he attacked Anglo-Saxon England which resulted in the date known as 1066 Battle of Hastings or here friends the battle is Battle of Hastings also known as Norman Conquest one of the most important and a regular question asked in net grf exam and other competitive exam cut pg ke andar bhi question aa jayega 1066 it's the most important date one of the highly recommended date that you have to remember sabse jyada questions hote hain it is also called norman conquest battle of hastings you can also read it like this that william had a fight with harold godwinson william ki fight kiske sath thi harold godwinson ke sath aur ab hota hai scene Harold Godwinson was stronger than William. Anglo Saxons were stronger than Normans. When the battle took place, Jab Ladai Shuru Hui, so Anglo Saxons were actually dominating the Normans. And here, William the Conqueror, having a lot of experience in front of a new boy, in front of a young king, he started beating drums, celebrating, and announced that yes. Harold Godwinson has been killed. Hamne Godwinson ko maar diya. Same like Mahabharat jaha Bheem ne celebrate karna shuru kar diya ki mainne Ashwatthama ko maar diya aur Dhrudachare apne hathiyar rak dete hain, Ashtra Shastra rak dete hain, waise hi yahaan pe hoa. Unho ne celebrate karna shuru kiya ki Harold Godwinson is killed. Harold Godwinson is no more. So the army of Anglo-Saxon actually started running. They started leaving the battlefield. Godwinson, to stop his army, you know the flying army the fleeing army he came to the top of the mountain some high area and removed his helmet and started talking to the soldiers that i am alive i am alive and that was the moment the archers the trained archers of william were waiting for they found harold godwinson as a clear target and hundreds of arrows were shot at him one of those arrows 
got hit in his eye, penetrated his head, and Godwinson immediately died. This is how William the Conqueror defeated the Anglo-Saxon king Harold Godwinson and established the Normans culture, Normans kingship there. But then again, gradually they started living together as Anglo-Saxon culture itself was a strong one. So after 1066, when Normans came, if you read it separately, you can call it Anglo-Normans. But technically, as sections were already there and highly influential and the first is so technically the entire timing is called anglo sections so if you are reading it from 450 if you're reading it from 650 if you're reading it from 1066 remember this thing you have been taught by vinith pandey sir now you know the difference between 450 650 1066 my dear friends this is how we are teaching in online classes on the request of students now properly short videos with complete units are being provided to online students if you're targeting june exam this is the time join the classes get podcast lectures get live classes rapid fire sessions quiz sessions 3 a.m session and now these kind of video classes now have the same standard we provide in Delhi classroom, Delhi offline batch. You are getting the same standard at home and you don't have to pay any fees. It's same fees. We have not increased any fees. Jo pehle fees thi, wo same hai. In the same fees, you are getting more now. So we are going to teach you in this way. Hope you have loved it. Hope you have made notes. And we're also going to take your questions. Write down your questions in the comments and the series will continue. We will teach you each and everything with tough theories, culture studies, linguistics, all the portions right here, right now. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and see you in the online batch. God bless you all.